welcome back. Hope you're all well. Keeping warm, hasn't it suddenly got cold? I've got my thermals on and everything. It's, I think it's Wednesday, um, end of November, and it's about quarter to eight in the morning. So it's just sort of getting light. I've made that mistake of putting all my makeup on and stuff before I go out to take Jenny. And I know that it'll all run down my face as my eyes water and my nose runs. <laughs> but never mind. I've had quite a lazy start this morning. I sat in bed and watched um, Carla's vlog with Lex coming over. They went to a Christmas fair and things like that. And then I watched Caroline's spend a day with me type vlog, um, which was a what do you call it when it just brings back memories and things you know makes you think about stuff so Caroline was talking about her father and the grieving process because he's got Alzheimer's um grieving for somebody who's still alive um and I know it sounds silly but I'm I'm always insanely jealous of people who have close relationships with their fathers who had or even who had close relationships with their father. I didn't. Um, and I always wished that I'd had a dad that I'd had close relationships with, but um, it, it was never to be. And he got ill a few years ago and we looked after him. It was mainly my eldest brother who looked after him, but we all tried to do our bit. Um, and that was a difficult one because none of us were particularly close with my dad and we did a lot for him, let's say that. Um, and then when he passed away, I realised that I was never going to get what I was looking for from him. As a teenager, I always thought at some point he will change. At some point he will tell me he loves me. At some point he will tell me he's proud of me. And that never came. And so the grieving process was more about me coming to terms with the fact that I never did get that relationship with my dad that I'd hoped for. Now, um, I don't want to say all that and not say that my dad was not a bad person. He had his issues, he had his demons and he dealt with them in the best way that he could. But unfortunately, that didn't involve having relationships with his children, particularly. He tried. He tried his best, but it didn't come naturally to him. Um, and so whenever I hear of people who've had really close relationships with their dad, I do get really jealous, which is sad. But it is what it is. I don't like that expression, but it is. Uh, so, yeah, maybe a bit little. I think the word is maudlin, is it? watching Caroline's video which is probably not the best start to the day but today is a new day and I do have quite a lot to do uh, we've still got builders in downstairs so we're dealing with them on and off and um, I'm trying to get a few bits listed on my website I'll show you those later the bits that I'm putting on um, I'm trying to get some Christmas presents sorted out try not to leave it too late because I kind of like I do always think I've got loads of time because I'm not very good at planning time and then it's all gone also got to think about food and stuff oh so I did a new look try on on Monday and I wasn't going to put it out until later but uh, then I saw that the offers were still on so I put it out straight away so the last video you watched was before the try on <laughs> and this is the one after the try on um the dresses i kept two dresses out of that lot i kept the long red one red and black one because with a belt i thought i really liked it and it's not a christmas day dress but i do still very much like it and then the one that i kept to wear on christmas day was the green high neck um belted shorter dress which i kept for christmas day because i did really like it i just have to hope my husband to help me in and out of it with the little buttons on the back but yeah so i am really really chuffed to bits and they were i think one was 12 quid and one was 15 quid so bargain i just need to unpack some shoes to wear because I think the red dress will be all right with my docks, but the little green dress. I've got some nice little heeled boots, which would look fine with those. I just don't know where they are. They're in a box somewhere. Because we were packing in the summer thinking we'd have moved by 
October. So, anywho, time to get a move on, time to get some things done. I will catch up with you in a bit. It looks wintry this morning. It's got a bit of mistiness about it. It was Jenny's birthday yesterday. She was 14. She's getting old, gal. I'm loving hearing the birds this morning. There's some really loud squawking going off in the distance. There are some rooks that live in big high trees behind me somewhere, but it didn't sound like rooks, it sounded like something else. <laughs> I don't know, I'm feeling really morning today. <laughs> just seen a lady dropping a daughter off to school, drop her off here and then she walks to school and there. I just thought, oh, my babes aren't babes anymore. <laughs> They're all grown up and miss them. It's about quarter to 10 now. I took Jenny out, then I went back, did some paperwork, uh, did a social media post. If you follow me on all my social media platforms, I would really appreciate it if you would. Um, I'm on the Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, threads, all of that. Same name. Just go over and give me a follow and it always helps if you like my posts or comment on my posts because it just helps all the algorithms and stuff. It's really hard as a business because they sort of hide your posts unless you pay for advertising. So you find that you get less and less interaction after a while. So it's a job to keep it up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so now I'm out. We did pay for it, did I say? Yeah. And now I'm out walking on my own. And then I'll go back and get on with some work. I'll just hold my hand here because I've been picking up my face. A bad habit of mine picking up my face. Does anybody else do that? Stop picking up my nails and my fingers and now pick up my face. <laughs> I'm a picker. Um, I've come back, done a bit of paper, uh, online work, and now I'm just having a few minutes of my hot water and my lemon. Um, I've been listening to on my audiobook Wayne Dyer, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. Um, has anybody else read, listen to this one? It's um, it's very much about religion, but I'm trying to sort of filter through that and get out of it what I can make of it. And I think the idea is not about, not that your ch thoughts change your life, actually change your life, but just change the way you perceive your life. And um, he talks about being the Tao and how you should or act the Tao, um, let go of your ego and let things happen and be okay with that. So for instance, um, when you feel the need to voice your opinion, to keep quiet and let other people have their opinions and not try to influence them and just to be yourself, um, which I think is a really interesting thing, which I am going to try and do because often um, when it comes to particularly politics, I get quite um, passionate, let's say, <laughs> and um, I can feel like the negative energy is rising in me when I talk about politics because it's always a black and white thing, isn't it? In some ways, it's not black and white as in the things that affect us are very much all shades of grey, but how we feel about things are often black and white. And um, I can often feel myself getting quite heated and quite strong in my opinions. And if I can just live by my own uh, morals, live by my own judgment, but let people live by their own judgment, then my life would feel more peaceful even though I'm not changing anything, 
the way I'm living it is changing and I can have a more peaceful life and enjoyable life. So that's one thing I've taken away from the book. And I've been converting my, my husband as well <laughs> to, to living the Tao. Let's see, see how other ways we can sort of incorporate it into our lives. It is now about one o'clock. Um, we had a lot of paperwork to do with the sale of the flat which my husband was going through and he got all that finished off and I've taken it to the post office and sent it recorded to delivery. Um, so that's another job done today. Um, we had lunch, we had some soup that I made yesterday, it was really nice. Chuck all the veg in, cook it down with a bit of curry powder, salt, pepper, etc. Jobs are good and blend it up. Yeah, so we had that for lunch. And then tonight we've got some meatballs and my husband makes batches of marinara sauce as well. So we've got that with the meatballs with a nice sourdough and some veggies. So that's all sorted. I thought I would show you the bits that I've been listing on my website um, this week. There's stuff on there from before but this is new stuff that um i've put on this week so i'll start at this side and work across i've got this little scent bottle it says marquis Mar marquis <laughs> um waterford crystal made in czech republic it's a little scent bottle with a heart-shaped stopper isn't it gorgeous beautiful little thing so i've got that that's been listed I've also got this. Do you know what it is yet? Seen the shape of it? It's a grapefruit knife. Um, it is got a silver handle, hallmarks are there, stainless steel blade. Don't think it's ever been used. It's from the 70s, I think. Um, and it is, I've got a feeling it's Harrison Brothers. So that's that one. I've got three uh pen knife oh no oh, engage brain letter openers here we go there's the first one all three are pewter this one's got this great like i don't know medieval gothic looking hand with a bit of detail there if i put my hand behind maybe you can see it more clearly you see like that and then on the end it's like the english rose on the end there so that's that one. This one's got more of an Art Nouveau look about it. So it's a, a lady, naked lady, with long hair. That's the full thing there. And finally, this one is like a tower block building. Can you see that? With a flag on the top. Can you see that? Nice bit of detail here as well. That's the full thing. So those three have gone on. I have this gorgeous wooden carved Buddha. I absolutely love this. Very tempted to keep it, but you can't keep everything, can you? Um, on this wooden plinth, look at his um, face. Some Buddhas are nicer than others, and this is a really nice one. It's a really lovely carved wooden one. It's done really well. You see the detail of his hands there. So that has been added. Um, I've got this little scent bottle. It's really unusual. I've not been able to find um, the same ones online. So it's very, very unusual. This is silver plated. Now it is worn in places. Can you see here? You can see the brass or whatever coming through. So this is silver plated, gorgeous green to match my dress. <laughs> um, glass part, there you go. And then it's got cork in the end there. Isn't that beautiful? Really unusual. Um, a screw top lid, which I don't want to get screwed wrong. <laughs> there, so that's somewhere been added. I've also got this, hang on a moment, I've got tangled with a piece of string, let's take that off. 
Now this is going to be hard to show you. So this is like a souvenir bracelet from France and there are different shields and buildings from France. This one obviously is very recognisable. So there's eight filigree sort of panels and each one has got some sort of shield or emblem on the top. And then it has this extender bit of chain here with this on the end. Um, it's not marked silver, but it's certainly the colouring of it is very much like silver. So it's possibly a low grade silver. I haven't tested it. Um, so that has been added. It's a lovely thing. Got a couple of brooches. Actually, I've got three brooches. I'll show you those together. First one is this one with the three mice and the red jackets. Some of this stock you might have seen before because it is stock that I've had. I've not been out buying stock. It's just these ones I've put back on my website or have put on my website for the first time. This one is an enamel one with the fuchsia's arm. I'm assuming you'd have it up that way, but you could have it up that way. And then this is a lovely little silver brooch. Can you see that? It's hard to hold it like that. Silver with mother of pearl. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I've got a few new bits that were in the shop. Um, you know that I sold some new bits. So I've got these Gustav Klimt inspired tea lights, just simple glass light for the tea lights. I've got three of those, I think. I've got a few cast iron signs. So I've got this one, please mind the step. I've got this one, beware of the husband. And I've got this one, no parking. So there's those three. There's the last of the cushions left. So these are um, made in India with recycled fabric, hand stitched. You've got the elephants there with the crosses. It's just the cushion cover. So that was the last one of those. Have I showed you everything? Nearly everything. I think it's just this one to go. This gorgeous Ganesh Hindu God. I mean, again, I would love to keep him. Him or her? Hmm, thoughts. <laughs> Can you see how lovely it is? And then the back's carved like that as well. So it's beautiful from all angles. So that one is on my website as well. Oh, and I did, haven't shown you these yet, have I? I've got a set of six of these uh, little tumblers with the, I think we decided these were wild roses on these. Um, and there is six of these in the set. That is everything, I think. Right, I'm gonna round up the vlog because I think it's probably long enough. I don't know about you, but I can't watch long vlogs. I love um, Live It Like Lauren, but her vlogs are nearly like nearly an hour and it takes me days and days to get through them because I only watch her little what, chunks at a time because <laughs> I haven't got the concentration span. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know if you've got any really good books that you'd recommend as in self-help, spiritual, that kind of thing. I'm, I, I, I like to listen to those when I'm um, taking my walks. And then when I'm reading at home, I love an Agatha Christie or a Lee Child or something like that. But um, yeah, if you've got any recommendations of like spirituality type, self-help type books, I'd really like to, to know, see which one to read next because I'm getting towards the end. Um, Thank you to, I can't see now, somebody's just ordered on my website, so thank you so much. I put a social media post about that stock that I've just shown you, plus one other thing, which they bought, <laughs> so I didn't show you. Um, and I've forgotten who it was now, but thank you, I really do appreciate it. I'm feeling tired, tired, tired. It's been a busy 
busy couple of weeks. Um, so I think I'm just going to sit and read my book for a little while, maybe scroll a bit of TikTok, that kind of thing. Um, but thank you so much for your support, as always. I really do appreciate thumbs ups and comments because it all helps my algorithms. <laughs> Loving the word. And um, take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you.